I'm Chris Aiken with Webb Food Kennels in Jonesboro, Arkansas, here on behalf of Sport Dog Brands. Today we're talking about swapping over from the, from the leash to the e-collar. Now, it's really no big deal. Why don't you think of it like this? When we have the leash on the dog, we're walking around, all the corrections we're making are with the leash. You know, him being at heel versus not being at heel. We're gonna do the same thing with the e-collar. As he's walking around, every time he gets out of spot, we're just gonna apply pressure without any leash pressure at all to teach him to get to our side. Now, what you're doing, for lack of a better word, you're brainwashing that dog that when he feels stimulation, just get to your side to turn that stimulation off. And what that does for you, it not only teaches the dog to heal, but think about it like this. When he's out at a distance, you call him, he doesn't come, we apply pressure with the e-collar, all he can think about is getting to your side and turn that off. So you really get two bangs for the same buck, heel and here. Heel. From the very beginning, when we're teaching this dog to heal, we're using the leashes to put all the pressure on the dog. When he gets out of spot, we actually put pressure on the dog when he's where he's supposed to be. We have it in a very relaxed position. Same way we're going to do with the e-collar. Now instead, we're going to walk around with a leash in our hand, but we're not actually going to really use it. Now when we need to make a correction, we're actually going to apply pressure with the e-collar, and then when that dog is gets back in the spot, we're going to let the pressure off. Real low stimulation, I'm starting out with town on a one right here, and so all we're doing, thinking of it, when he's doing what he's supposed to do, no pressure. When he's not doing what he's supposed to do, we're going to apply pressure. It's as simple as that. Good. Going from the leash to the e-collar is really not that big a step if you think of it like this. All we're doing is putting pressure on there with a the leash to get the dog where we want it to be. Now we're going to swap it over and start putting the negative pressure on him with the e-collar. That makes it easier for the dog and it makes it easier for you, which in turn makes it easier for everybody. That way you and the dog both are having fun.